Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. We're starting off in our breakfast room or informal dining room. Today, the plan is a mini makeover. Currently, the space feels very eclectic, maybe a little bohemian. I have a lot of DIY projects in this space. I have things from all over the world. Um, I have these ghost chairs that I've loved for many years. And I have a lot of plants, whimsical artwork, and also half lace curtains on the windows, a chandelier. It's a happy informal space and we enjoy eating in there. It's a nice day outside, it's sunny, the bees are flying all around the blueberry bush, which is planted in a giant pot. I also have the fig tree coming back. No fruit yet, because it barely has any leaves on it. But hopefully in a couple of weeks, it will have a lot of leaves and a lot of fruit that we will be able to enjoy before the squirrels get to it. So back to redecorating. I have these ghost chairs that I've had for a couple of years, low maintenance, around this walnut table, which is very vintage and heavy duty. I love this table. Our kids grew up eating around this table, so it's rather sentimental. Anyway, I'm taking off the artwork. So I took down all our Christmas decorations months ago, months ago, except this little wreath. That was a DIY project using boxwood from the garden. I think it's well overdue to bring it down. And I'm also taking down all these little trinkets. You see this one has like elephants. I have some that have donkeys and different just different little trinkets that I've collected, uh, mostly from World Market, the store World Market. I love all these like colorful, ethnic, um, yeah, trinkets, a little dusty, but aren't they pretty? Super pretty, right? You see the donkeys, the elephant, and just all the pretty, pretty colors. So that's going away. We're going to kind of clean up the space a little bit. I'm also getting rid of all the ghost chairs. Gonna put them to the side, find somewhere else for them. And uh, let's see how we change this room a little bit. So after doing a little cleaning, a lot of decluttering, this is the space. It feels like a blank canvas besides a few plants. No more artwork, no more lace valance curtains, no more trinkets. <laughs> it's just kind of blank. And again, this is the area off the kitchen. So the beautiful chairs that you're going to see in this makeover are from the company Her Nest, H-E-R-N-E-S-T. If you recall, I have collaborated with them before. They sell makeup vanities, they sell TV stands, coffee tables, sofas, dining tables, dressers. If you like contemporary furniture, definitely check out Her Nest. I will leave a discount code and also a link. Just heard the FedEx truck and I think my package is here. I don't know, are they gonna ring the bell? Cause usually they just leave it on the front porch. Whoa. Is that a girl in there? Whoa. Oh, crap. They're coming close. They better not knock the house down. Let's see. That was fast. Oh, my God. Look at the two big boxes. Ah. So crazy. Thankfully, the driveway was available. Pretty day. Got delivered on a pretty, pretty day. Wow, these are some two giant boxes. We had to push the furniture to the side. What, what, what? Her nest. Hey, they've been through some stuff. <laughs> They've been through some stuff on the way here. I really wanted you to see how big these boxes are compared to me. And yes, I'm aware my hair looks crazy. I was about to wash my hair. I was about to wash my hair, so stop judging me. <laughs> stop judging me. Do you think I care? <laughs> I'm about to look cute in a few minutes. Look, see, I told you. Hopefully you guys watch this video with my kinky twists easy DIY twist that I posted previously. 
So here are the chairs. They come as a set of two chairs, and they're listed as velvet dining chair, set of two. So velvet dining chair, set of two. The fabric is nice and soft, but you can tell that the chair is also very sturdy and well constructed. It came in two pieces, so the chair comes in two pieces in that box. You basically just screw on the chair or the seat to the gold frame below, which I really like. In fact, let's go back a little so you can see exactly how it came out the box. Despite the boxes looking rather raggedy, if I'm honest, the contents were completely fine and each chair was packaged really nicely on the inside. And uh, Kenton put the chairs together in no time. So basically it came with instructions, it came with the uh, screws that you need, and each box contained two chairs. So when you buy a set or the price is for two chairs. And again, I was gifted four chairs in total. So these chairs come in either the color blue, black, or white. And I could have been safe and gone with white to match my other furniture, but I wanted to take a risk and do something different. I also like how these chairs can be moved around. You can use them in the living room or around a small table. I like that kind of blinged out contemporary look. <laughs> anyway, use code Kenton for 15% off everything on their website. The price was $3.99 for a set of two chairs, but now it is currently discounted to $249 or $250. So yeah, definitely take advantage of their sales and of their clearance section. And again, the links are in the description box. So I was doing my little happy dance, as you can see. And also you can tell I have four chairs, so I basically got two sets. Thankfully, we live in a fairly safe uh, neighborhood here in the Triangle region of North Carolina, and I don't usually bother with long curtains in this part of the house, but today I'm gonna put up some sheer curtains. They're very simple, light and airy, and I want the space not to feel as cluttered and you know, not to have too many bright colors or too much busy stuff around like I typically have. So this is my version of going minimalistic, which would never define me. Habiba is never minimalistic. <laughs> but this is my effort to try something kind of clean and classy and simple. So let's see how this goes. You know, I'm not promising I won't come in with a little bit more color, but we'll see. I've put up the share curtains on both sides, but now I'm not sure what to do with the door. It has blinds, but you can't really hang curtains, so I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll focus on something else for now and come back to it. So how about that corner? We need a piece of artwork. Previously, I had several small pieces of artwork on the wall, but this time I'm going to use one large piece. So these are my options. This one is an oil painting that I got from New York many years ago. We had it framed. And the second piece, which is my preference because it has the blue and I thought the blue and the gold frame would tie, but it's very large and also very heavy. It's actually a piece of fabric called batik from Nigeria that I had framed, or actually I think Kenton had it framed for me for my birthday many years ago. So it's covered with glass and that's why it's super heavy, but it's too wide for that wall. Yeah, unfortunately it's too wide. So I'm going to use the smaller piece of art, but I think it'll work too because of the gold frame and the gold uh, frame that's on the base of the chairs. I think that makes it work. So let's see. But like I said before, I wasn't promising I wasn't going to bring back a little bit of color. I'm just trying to make sure that the color doesn't look like clutter. <laughs> All right, so this plant is not looking as glamorous as I want it to look for the space, so I'm going to switch it out with a peace lily. So this is a peace lily that we already own, and you know, I'm a proud plant mama. I got lots of plants. Um, I still need to buy some more plants for the spring. Like, I haven't bought any new house plants. 
Anyway, I just pulled out some of the dead leaves. The plant will always look nicer when you take away any dead or brown leaves. And I think the space looks really nice now, but I think it would look better if the table had some flowers in the center. It's nice and sunny and it definitely feels like spring, but it is a little chilly still, so I'm putting on my cardigan to go outside and let's see what we can pick to put on the center of the table. How beautiful is that tree in the front of the house, right? How beautiful. For those who live in the south, then you know these trees are everywhere and they bloom so beautifully in the spring. For those who suffer from allergies, I am sorry. <laughs> But these will wreak havoc on your sinuses. So yeah, they're beautiful, but you will sneeze and many people also don't like the smell of them. On the grass, there are tons of petals. It almost looks like snow. This is what happens after some heavy winds or heavy rain. So I think it changes the vibe, doesn't it? It feels more grown up. <laughs> Model of the day, what do you think? Is it comfortable? Be honest, what do you think? Yeah. Right? It feels like uh, it, it chairs in a hotel lobby. Okay, all right. You can sit, you can sit. it's good to sit, you can sit your arm. Right. Right. <laughs> I try to act smart. Feels like um, chairs that could easily be in the living room, yeah. right? Yeah. But it also feels like chairs that could be yeah. at a side table at a bar, like you said, well, kind of. More of a small dinette, you know, like right. areas where people can congregate. Cause mm. it's, it's, you know, because you can also see because you can sit and lean back because of the higher back, it gives you that support. Right. So you don't feel back strain and then there's ample seating. So if you're, if you're wide, if you're blessed, or if you're a big person, bigger you than know, we are, I prefer, I prefer blessed. <laughs> if you're blessed, then yeah, you got, and it's firm actually, it's quite firm. Yeah. It doesn't sag. So it, it, it has, it structurally has good, um, it seats firm, so it's good. Right. So I'm still not sure about the door and what I was going to do. So I decided to see what blinds actually look like. And then I decided it wasn't that bad. I'm not really a fan of blinds. I'd much rather curtains or just bare windows, but the blinds don't look too bad next to the share curtains. What do you think? We are so used to being able to see right into our neighbor's living room and kitchen area and we're used to them being able to see right into our kitchen area. So now having the blinds is actually different, but I don't mind it. It kind of feels nice and cozy and it's nice to have the added privacy, I guess. And these chairs are also super comfortable. I could sit here for a while, but I do have to get up and make some lunch because I would like Kenton to have something to eat before he goes out for a meeting. So my goal is to make a dish that is inspired by the Korean beef bulgogi. I may not be pronouncing that right because I am not Korean, obviously, <laughs> but this dish is inspired by Korean beef bulgogi, B-U-L-G-O-G-I. So it uses simple ingredients, including black pepper, honey, sugar, um, also some ginger, but typically fresh ginger. I didn't have any fresh ginger, so that's why I'm going to use a little bit of powdered ginger. But typically you would use some fresh ginger. You would also have garlic and onion and um, let's see another ingredient I am going to be using is these chili peppers instead of the Korean paste because the Korean paste that's sold in my neighborhood is not gluten free so I've had to make um, some substitutions so I'm not using yeah the Korean pepper paste and unfortunately I don't have the Korean pear 
but otherwise it comes pretty close. Again, I'm not Korean. This is not a tutorial. I'm just showing you what I'm making for my husband. <laughs> He's not Korean, by the way. He is half Vietnamese half Vietnamese, but we eat a lot of international foods, a lot of fusion cuisine, and uh, we just enjoy a lot of different flavors and tastes. So as long as the food is not bland, we will probably enjoy it. And let me shut up and let you just enjoy watching me cook. recipe calls for half a cup of soy sauce, but this is quite salty, so I'm only gonna use one third a cup and I'm not gonna use any salt. Okay, so we're gonna make our marinade. So we got our gluten-free soy sauce, which like I said, can be kind of salty, so be careful with your salt intake. So instead of half a cup, we're using one third a cup. Gonna add my garlic. Let's see. How much sugar? How much sugar? Two tablespoons brown sugar. So you want it a little salty, a little peppery, a little sweet, um, a little savory. All the flavors. Half a teaspoon of ginger. All right, let's get some black pepper. I'm not measuring, but it's about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And one tablespoon of honey. One tablespoon sesame oil. And I think that's it. The only ingredient I am missing is Asian pear. If I had Asian pear, then it would be Asian pear and marin. Yeah, if I had Asian pear and marin, I would be golden, traditional, Korean, barbecue, bulogi, <laughs> but this is my version, so this is going to be good. We're gonna let this marinate for an hour or two, if you have the time, or just go ahead and saute it immediately. But it's better if you let it marinate for hours or even overnight. Mm, smells so good. Yeah. 
Yeah, then you would cover this and let it sit in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna use this oversized pan because it doesn't stick. Or it's a nice kind of non-stick. Natural element, ceramic. All right. I have a little oil in the pan, about a tablespoon of oil. Forgot the heat. I almost forgot the heat I wanted. Since I'm not using the Korean pepper paste, I'm going to use these peppers, these babies. Nice, fresh scallions. People call them spring onions, spring onions or scallions. I think I'll use about four. Turn it off and mix. There you go. We're done. We're done. Porcelain made in China.
and these peppers, boo, they're actually, um, they're actually really hot. Yeah. Be careful. Szechuan peppercorn. Right. I was about to end this vlog when my mother dropped by randomly bringing with her this bag. Can you guess what's in this bag? What's in this bag? I guarantee you you'll be wrong. Guess, guess. Oh my God, my mother. Anyway, it makes sense. But when she first walked in with it, it didn't make sense to me. Look what it is. It is a giant piece of lamb. <laughs> lamb. I totally forgot this Sunday is Easter. So my mom wants me to cook and she brought some lamb. So we're gonna be celebrating Easter together. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the new furniture. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought of the new pieces of furniture. And if you're interested, definitely check the description box. I will leave a link to the actual store and to the actual item. This was recorded a few days afterwards and I wanted you to see that I actually ended up putting up that large piece of artwork in our family room right there. I used to have a bookcase there. Many of you remember that I had a bookcase there. Look closely at the art. You can probably see some huts in the background and you can see some people, mostly women, and you can see a musician. How many people can you see? Can you tell? <laughs> So here's the bookcase that I moved with the little house or box that has the little mice in there living peacefully, happily, eating and reading. <laughs> Let's put on the lights. See, they're so happy to be living on my little bookcase. And they even have a bedroom upstairs and a little living room with a little couch and a small bookcase. You see it? <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I look forward to sharing Easter with you or what we did for Easter. That was a very happy full day. But look at these flowers that Ketten got me. So they're not arranged here. This is literally how they came from the store. I'm going to put some of them in a nice collection or nice bouquet, you know. We have lots of lilies and daffodils and roses and all kinds of flowers here and it just feels like spring. So I hope you had a wonderful Easter from wherever you're watching us from and I also hope you had or are having a happy Ramadan for all the Muslims that are fasting. God bless and we'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs> that was ridiculous, girl.